can, one minute you can introduce yourself. How you are in India? <laughs> My name is Melissa Mackinnon. Uh, I'm originally from Finland, uh, but at the moment I work in uh, at Impulse NGO Networks. Uh, what? That is the pleasure to give our hands. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say, as Senda or my personal appearance, uh, Miss Vishu, we work in Northeast India, in Meghalaya, Shilong. Uh, I'm here to talk about our case in center. We work against human trafficking. Human trafficking is illegal trade of human beings. It might be different purposes for sexual trade, for uh, forced labor, uh, labor, child marriage. Whichever is the reason, it's always a crime against humanity. So what Impulse has done for over 13 years, we have found different ways how we can fight against this problem. We have created Mechalaya model. It's also called Impulse 5G model. This model is designed to fight against human trafficking from all the corners. It's a comprehensive model which addresses the problem of human trafficking from different aspects, engaging different stakeholders. The model is designed to track and rescue trafficked children, facilitate rehabilitation, making sure that the survivors will not get re-trafficked, provide families with livelihood alternatives, preventing unsafe migration, prosecute offenders, create new policies, making the fight against human trafficking always more efficient, and raise awareness. What happens in Northeast India, which is at the moment source, transit, and destination area for human trafficking, is that the traffickers go to the villages. Once the families have some financial problems, and these people promise them that there's a good money, there's a good job in their town. So these families are more to send their children away without really understanding what is happening there. So the awareness, knowing what is human trafficking, already makes a huge difference. So Impulse has created this model to find different ways to make people understand what is human trafficking and how we can fight against it. And these activities go under five key pillars, which are prevention, protection, policy, press, and prosecution. Everything we do goes under one of these themes. But the real secret is the stakeholders. We can have any kind of uh, combination of letters, but our real secret is that we involve many people to work with us. It has, we have a state partner. All over Northeast India, all the districts, we have somebody there who works with us who gives us information, what is happening in their district, what is happening in their state. Government department, civil society in general. Uh, now, tourist department is uh, collaborating with us also because sex tourism is in a rise in our team. So we have to take in consideration every single person, every single department that has something to do or might have something to do with human trafficking and have to bring them under one network. And once we have one network, it's much easier to find the children, it's much easier to find ways together to combat human trafficking. The actual process of Mechala model is reporting, rescue, rehabilitation, repatriation, and re-education. This means how we actually rescue the children. What is the process? So it starts from reporting, which is Impulse Case Impulse Center. Then our innovative model, how we have uh, been able to actually connect the different stakeholders. It's a unique database to collect and record all the information about human trafficking. Every time that there is a child that goes uh, missing, Impulse or Impulse Partners Police is reported. And once they are reported, 
all the cases come to info. And we have created case files where we type all the information about the victim. About this case in the center, the, the object is there, is to create a reliable, reliable network that can share the information between all the stakeholders. Let's say uh, a child is, has gone missing in uh, the Kalaya. And then there are reasons to believe that the child is traffic to hide up. So we have to involve both police departments. We have to involve all the organizations who are working with us. We have to get the child's picture out there. We have to tell what happened and which, what might have happened to the child. Once this um, invocation for center, how it works is that we call. We call to everybody. And once there is new information, we call this new information to everybody. We keep continuously calling the police department. Is there any news about the case? Please give us any uh, new updates, what might have happened. And once we have this, everybody once again must be informed about it. Because these small details, if one police department finds out some small detail, it might help the other police department to solve the case. So the information flow must be continued. So we cut time. And then once we have state info centers, we have all the documents of every trafficking case. And this creates a database that we can use once we can see that, okay, from this village, there are many people who have come to this school who have come with it. So maybe we have to create an awareness program for that particular place. If we find out that there is some uh, relation, that like all the cases have something in common, maybe we can call the traffickers, if there is uh, some circle of traffickers. It, it creates a lot of opportunities. And the major thing is once again, it brings all the stakeholders together. Because even if even if the uh, impulse would do beautiful job, we can do nothing without the police. We can't do anything that people bring us the information about the missing children, missing cases. So the network is everything, and the information flow is the most important thing. At the moment, we are we keep calling to all the stakeholders, but what we are planning on that we create a database, database that the stakeholders can connect with each other in a way that we also will find out about it. Because if the police department connects only with each other and not informing us, then we can, for example, and if there is a family, if there are other stakeholders, the person who has uh, informed about the case, they would be left out. So the information flow, everybody must know about it. So what we are creating is a database, a one central hub, where we can uh, create a passport for different cases. And the ones who have, are involved with the cases can log in and find out the newest information. They can call to the database. They can type whatever they do. They have to give the newest information. And it all must be found from one place. If there, has, if there is some miscommunication, it might be that it costs somebody's life. So we create case files. In the pre-rescue section, we collect all the information we can find about the victims, how they were trapped, or what kind of clothes they were wearing. But any kind of uh, family background, if there is a reason to believe that uh, the, the trafficker might have uh, approached the victim someplace, whatever information we can find, we call it it is one place. And after that, all the correspondence between different stakeholders recorded and uh, shared with everybody. In both of um, rescue operations as well, but it's always important that it's done actually by law enforcement. Because everything has to go by book, and everything uh, must uh, be done according to law that later on 
there will be no problem. But in the post rescue section, we collect all the information about how we can rehabilitate the dog. And here comes the network again. If we don't have any network for rehabilitation, what can we do to these girls that are safe? So we have different organizations who organize rehabilitation, and we keep continuing calling to them. Do you have place? We have case. Do you have a place for one girl? Uh, one month ago, it was selected the second most innovative model of the team. And we are very happy about the model. We are very proud of it. But the thing is, we have to keep growing it. We have to replicate it. Because even though now it's working in Northeast India, many of the trafficking cases, they come and go between Northeast India and mainland of India. So we need pushing the model that everybody has the same approach. Because the model is useless alone. We need to have it replicated all over. Thank you very much.